And we begin with a weather alert on this Monday morning. Live look at the roadways right now. Parts of our area under a winter storm warning this morning. We are seeing some snowfall across much of the state, although a changeover also in the southern part of the state. We are seeing an impact on road conditions as well. Yeah, a little bit of everything out there on this Monday morning team coverage. Eric Ritchie is checking out the roads in breaking news. One, Alexandra Leslie has more on the conditions in Providence. But first, Pete Mangione is standing by with the very latest. Hey, Danielle and Patrick. Well, as you just mentioned, a messy mix of precipitation falling this morning. Let's get you right to it with live pinpoint Doppler 12. And along the south coast, as we mentioned, a lot of mixing to rain and sleet. We've even seen some of that mixing to rain and sleet through inland spots. That made for very icy roads this morning. Right now, you're seeing some of these snow bands try to redevelop. Notice the darker bands of blue. So we're not totally done with the threat of snow just yet. In fact, in this accumulation map, even though I have lowered it to two to four inches, you know, even if you're sitting with with one inch of snow right now, the way you could get to two to four is as some of these additional bands fill on in. One to two along the south coast. Our jackpot area is still likely across portions of eastern Massachusetts out across Plymouth County east there of Taunton. Now in Providence, you can see visibility has dropped a lot compared to when we just saw the camera. 29 right now in the capital city. Winds are out of the northeast at seven miles an hour. So travel wise, I'd say the worst travel would be now and then 9 a.m. to noontime. We'll give you the yellow light, still some slick conditions and slower travel and then we do improve things later on during the afternoon. But we'll be dealing with this off and on snow pretty much the entire day. More details in your seven day forecast, which includes yet another messy mix of snow and maybe sleet and rain. Those details coming up. Now let's get you over to Melissa, who has a look at traffic. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. Although there's not a whole lot of snow out there this morning, it's really doing a number on our morning commute, especially considering we have such light traffic out there this morning. Another crash over in Jamestown, 138 heading west, blocking your right lane over here. Your speeds briefly dropping as you're making your way along the 138 connector and be especially careful heading over our bridges. This is Jamestown Bridge. You can see your visibility down just a little bit. Got some ice and raindrops on the camera lens over here. Definitely have those slippery conditions. We've had a number of spin outs. Still keeping an eye on two separate crashes. One over in Fall River. This is Route 24 at 195. One over in East Greenwich along 95 creating a little bit of slowdowns. Overall, I'm seeing our speeds picking up considering what we were seeing a couple of hours ago. So heading into Providence Right now you're looking at about a nine minute commute from Jefferson Boulevard all the way into Providence looking OK along 195 West. We have light activity out there due to the holiday five minutes from the state line to 95 and six minutes along Route 6 heading east. No major delays overall. Give yourself some extra time if you got somewhere to be today. Patrick and Danielle back to you. It is 703. Now we want to bring you a closer look at what you can expect if you're headed out on the roadways. Yeah, let's check in with Erica Ritchie. She's out monitoring the conditions in breaking news one. Yeah, hey guys, we've been crossing the state all morning long and happy to report that conditions have been improving as we've done so. I'll give you a live look outside of our vehicle here. We are right outside of the state house and uh, you can see that the roads are looking very, very good, very and clear, which is not something that we've seen all morning long here. And that is a good thing for where we are because there are state offices, all of them that are open today. There was some confusion in the communication about that this morning, uh, but we can confirm from the governor's office that all state offices are open today. Now, this does not look like this all morning long. Let's show you some video that we shot earlier today before any sun came up at all. And uh, lots of people out and about making sure that the sidewalks were clear, plows out, making sure that parking lots were clear so that places like state offices or places of business were able to open today. The snow began falling uh, right around, uh, I'd say, 2.33 o'clock this morning, and it fell fast and hard, and it stuck to the ground, and that made travel very early this morning quite difficult. And uh, so they were out and about doing their job, and of course, um, as we can come back to uh, our roadway conditions now, we can see that it has made a difference there uh, as we come travel through the, the capital city here. So, um, so we're we're going to continue to monitor how things shape up as folks head out onto the roadways. Now we anticipate the morning commute will begin to pick up, but certainly the speeds are picking up as the roads are clearing, though you certainly still want to take your time and take it slow and be safe because as this changeover is happening to rain, it's turning all of that snow that fell uh, into slush and it is still slippery. So you want to be careful as you're out there. We'll see you again a half an hour from now from breaking news one. That's the latest live right now. I'm Erica Ritchie back to you guys.